Right, click the links to join the channel here over at Subscribestar. So the Google Diversity Checklist. Oh, that sounds like cancer. Uh, welcome to the consumer revolution. Social media is allowing people with the sweet baby detected um, and those kind of kind of groups to inform the consumer is allowing people to to change perspectives on things, to change how the consumer interacts with the product that they're paying money for. And uh, the corporations are not happy about that because corporations are just to cover these games, movies, comics, whatever, uh, th that work with the Sweet Baby Incorporated type of, of you know, the political commissars for the, some, some Frankfurt School Marxist nonsense. They, um, they don't like feedback. They, ver they want a monologue and not a dialogue in social media. And, uh, you know, Telegram and Discord networks are allowing the consumer to discuss these things and go, yeah, we don't value those elements in games and, and movies and whatnot. Uh, it's weird that you guys keep pushing things that the customer is not on board with. So if you make all things for all people, you end up making garbage, which is just like the most boring vanilla mainstream type of garbage. Diversity is not a value, uh, and it's not a positive value in a game. It makes a game, usually it makes a game, comic, or movie worse. And remember that Mary Sue article about the Eternals. A girl was so surprised it didn't do well because it was the most diverse Marvel movie. I look at her and think, like, that's just a word you use. Now, subjectively, I say it's cancer, and you're probably saying it's cancer as well. But objectively, it doesn't do well because it doesn't, it's not bringing the audience along with it. So why would you think it would be a value to other people? It's a value. The left wing says they value it, but then when you point to the movies, you go, "Yeah, these all these you know Charlie's Angels type of movies that are female." Well, Madam Web was the last one. I didn't even see it. Or uh, the Marvels uh, Part Two with Brie Larson and her sidekicks. The female audience didn't turn up and support those movies, and they look around like, "Oh, yeah, we were just busy that that day." It's like you don't value this nonsense either you say you value it but people don't watch it diversity is a globalist value but the players at least in video games are not globalists the ones who actually buy the games that are not playing candy crush on a, a cell phone game versus an actual game they're kind of roughly tribalists or maybe a sort of a, a nationalist they want to see tribal organic games or stories and they just want Lara Croft to have have boobs the companies want to put diversity in games, and they say that it adds some kind of magical, amorphous, uh, ephemeral value. It adds something, but they have a hard time pointing to it and defining it, or they give definitions, and all you have to do is go, oh, it doesn't add value for me, and it doesn't add value for most of the audience because they're not buying these games. Weird that you keep putting it, putting it in these things. The players feel it's bullshit propaganda and they don't want to pay for it. So why are these companies pushing it? Kind of should make you wonder why. Like, what is their, their deeper lizard agenda? Imagine them off on an island somewhere drinking blood and figuring out how they're going to subvert and corrupt the next thing. It seems like Hollywood, mainstream media, and the games company all come out with this globalist propaganda agenda and there's no alternative. And some soy boys, they say that they love this kind of, this heavy-handed, estrogen-full messaging type of thing. But you, I mean, you can simply look at the, the numbers for the movie, even uh, the, the Mermaid movie. Um, it barely, barely broke even. And it's like that way with a lot of movies. Barbie was the one exception, but like the left-wing audience could make any of these movies massively successful, and they're not doing it. Um and then the rest of us, Chad, Hugo Boss, say these things are just, you know, open cancer and we don't want diversity and equity and inclusion in games. That's, that just sounds like something to stay away from. So there's this market out there where Bob Iger goes, ah, oh, the audience doesn't really understand it. Understand woke. You go, okay, well, listen, whatever you're doing, whatever they're roughly calling that woke as a far left wing preachy umbrella term, you're losing money and you're not taking the audience with you. That's objectively true. Disney can't keep losing money forever, but I personally, I hope they do. Anyway, the thing is, there is a market out there for, uh, I don't know, old-fashioned games. In fact, that's another thing, is that uh, people are playing more older and older games, and uh, and they're doing it with music, too, where they're listening to music, like, kind of before 2005. 
So there is a market out there, but it's not being served, which is weird if you assume money is a motive. It, I mean, usually in, in, in nature as well as business, when there's a vacuum, people will rush to fill that vacuum. That's how Comics Gate came into being. But in the mainstream, it's not happening. So it feels like there's an artificial, like a captured institution. There's an artificial hidden hand at work controlling it. And usually it's going to be the State Street, Vanguard, BlackRock um, sorts. So it seems like the uh, the dissemination of information, whether it's media, comics, anything that can get ideas out and change a narrative and brainwash people, is uh, is captured by this bullshit agenda because of of these the bigger companies who are controlling them. It all feels like they're on the same page, like a a crooked game when every corporation is willing to lose money to push propaganda, like the lizards all get together on islands and plan it out in between child sacrifice. So um, Google, for games, is pushing this diversity pledge on providers. Social engineering from the puppet masters. They say, was it Schwab, you'll own nothing and you'll be a cattle debt slave? That, I'm going to do in a video on Aussie and Vichy for that, that you'll own nothing thing. They really mean that. because <laughs> kind of begs the question, so who's going to, oh, you're going to own it. The, the, the WEF, the Black Rock, the, the Fink, the Schwab, you guys are going to own it, right? And we're, we're just going to be slaves? Yes! And it's for your own good, as the BuzzFeed articles used to say. <laughs> uh, we're going to genocide you in top 10 reasons why that's a good thing. So um, here's the thing. I'm on a, diff- you know, if I edited these videos, yeah, I definitely would have edited that G word out. I'm on a different perspective from these other YouTube channels who are bemoaning these cringe games and, and movies. <laughs> they talk, pick me, I'm not like other girls. They talk about saving things. Like you could turn around Star Wars or Marvel or Pirates of the Caribbean or all these, these things that used to be fun. I, I will say the Pirates of the Caribbean, um, that first movie came out in 2003. That was a fantastic, fantastic film. No, the ship has sailed of turning these things around. Disney's Star Wars has got like eight or nine of these streaming shows. Maybe some highlights in there, but they're they're just they're way way beyond. The the ship does not want to turn around. Um, And the thing is, there are external events that are much more important to focus on. So I totally support the woke movement because it accelerates getting people out of the distractions of the bread and circuses. It kind of feels like the time for games and Hollywood movies is over. It's better just to reject it all as globalist cancer and return to IRL activities, either reading a book or exercise or even playing board games just to be around other people. It seems like younger people now are not uh, are, are terrified of that. But um, it's also important to get away from these corporate lizard people who are telling us how to think. They've brainwashed us to such an extent that we don't even see. There's levels and layers and layers to the brainwashing by... TV, streaming shows, and movies and games, it's so insanely powerful and they boil the frog so slowly and people don't even think it's happening. They think they have organic opinions that they, they've arrived at by reading about something and having a, you know discussions with people to reach a logical conclusion. No, most of the time that doesn't happen. What happens is the same globalist propaganda is coming from captured schools and being reinforced in Hollywood and games. And you can prove it by asking somebody on the left or the right how they know something that they think they know. And most of the time when they break it down, they learned it from Hollywood in some fashion. And this is a weird situation where the left is a little bit easier to brainwash than the right. Because the left relies on appeal to authority and the trappings and safety of credentials. The problem with that is if the degrees, the universities, the studies, the opinions are from, uh, they're, they're useless if they're from captured and controlled institutions, which they 100% are. Uh, it's you know kind of like when NPR was asked about the laptop story a couple years ago, and they said they refused to cover it. And the hubris of that statement, they go, we don't cover things that aren't news except the story was true and it turned out to be true that's what a captured captured institution is like or the i don't know if i can talk about the woofloo thing um if you ask people when that came out like well where it seems like the dissenting opinions from experts on uh, mainstream media and social media were uh were sadly lacking oh they were all kicked off and they weren't entertained oh that that's weird because like they're experts but to just have a a different opinion from the government and these trillion dollar companies that we'll just call them the farming companies it's weird that that discussion didn't take place well yeah that happens when you're dealing with a narrative and you're not trying to arrive at at the truth 
of the matter asserted. So uh, this is kind of similar to the latest globalist diversity push. It's a conclusion by the puppet masters, not an argument to be had. That's a captured country, and it was captured without any discussion or debate because the media and government is on the same side as these big institutional investors. And, the, you know, the he heads of these, these companies, Disney, Sony, whatever, the only problem is that people are not on the same side. And that's not really a problem either as long as they stay fat and stupid with the cattle bread and circuses of video games, Marvel movies, prawn hub, and corn syrup. The government media corporation will do anything they want simply because nobody will get off the couch and do anything. And to be fair, half the country is too fat to get off that couch from more corn syrup in my Uber Eats. But people stay as distracted as possible with the white noise of video games and movies because if people ever put down those distractions and started paying attention, the, um, uh, the after legal constitutional due process, the government would be um, um, changed. Um, Madam Guillotine. The corporations would probably also be seized. Think about where we are now. People don't read books anymore, and they get books allow for deep learning. Instead, they scroll mindlessly on Twitter for dopamine hits. It's kind of one of the reasons the country is getting dumber. So here's the magic thing with video games. If you sold your machine and never played them again and read a book when you had the time, you'd be happier and, and smarter. And I mean, that would change the country almost overnight. You never need to play a video game or watch a movie ever again. And, and I know video games are not as bad as movies, not by far. But for movies in Hollywood, I don't think there's... I don't think anything from Hollywood is going to come out that's going to be worth watching. And I know it's not a good idea to uh, call the audience obese, coomer consumers, especially when you rely on donations. But we're dealing with some serious issues and things have gotten so bad because people are not paying attention. Whenever I mention video games not being uh, not being such a good idea, I, that's when the death threats will creep up. So anyway, this diversity pledge, um, it's okay to reject it. Diversity is cancer. Feminism is cancer. Whatever all the... Whatever, Whatever these lizards are pushing is not going to be good. Um, it ruins stories and games. It's not organic. It's astroturfed. It's the elf quest versus um, organic uh, hobbit type of stories. And the deeper issue is why on earth are these lizard people social engineering on, on these, these scales? You know, why are the, uh, the gates of the world um, listened to and taken seriously? Why do we let them? I mean, because you're supporting them financially. If you stop paying them, they have no power. And it's like you don't you don't need to I mean a lot of things like the the financial structure for a lot of things are changing nowadays, but with video games and Hollywood and comics, like you don't need to support them ever again. And that's that's not such a a sacrifice when you look at what Hollywood is coming up with. Hollywood's had the past few years have been a string of bombs and more than bombs and underperforming movies but there's also like can you point to something that stood out as oh this movie was awesome uh, maybe in the comments if you get this far I don't think there's a whole lot that Hollywood offered maybe video games but like they're 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 doing to video games what they did to movies, what they did to comic books. So video games are going to get to that point where you're just going to be playing old stuff or you're going to realize like, oh, you know what? Maybe it's time to hang up the, uh, the video games. There goes like 10 subs. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next episode.